Here we are at, we've selected GST um, for this um, example, and we've got 10% GST, and yes, we've got margin scheme in there. So let's look at our feasibility. So the same thing happens, and the only thing is that you don't have to worry about what's happening. Everything is done automatically because um, as per the assumptions uh, that we discussed right here uh, at the very beginning, we assume that whatever the total cost that you had included that GST value. So it, it has to be reported. It has to be uh, claimed back for on input credits. So you'll see that this is a negative value here. It's negative because that's the amount of money that I'll be claiming back as input tax credits throughout my business activity statement or GST reporting. So that's the negative value that that's the, that's the uh, basically the GST component in all the costs that I've paid out and all of this depends upon so let me just expand all of them let's expand all row groups and let's just zoom in maybe like 150 here so maybe 125 so let's look at this so we've got so whatever we are allowing so when we sell something we've got uh, a GST um, component in the sales um, we, uh, if we've got commercial, we've got a GST component there. All the costs that we've got, so based on if you had GST on land and this was commercial, uh, you would have to select yes over there. So what this is going to do is as soon as you select yes, it's going to give me a warning. So it's going to go red and ask me to check. What it is try try asking me to check is that if I'm paying GST on land, it cannot be um under margin scheme so you need to come in over here and change that to a no because um if if you're if you're buying something uh, especially a block of land and it has gst on it you can't claim you can't use the margin scheme method to calculate gst so that is why that is what is asking me to check so if i go if i go here for example and i say no and I come back here, you'll say that, you know, it will start giving me that, uh, that check. So let's just go back here and um, not select GST on land. So if there was a GST, it would get calculated here um, in here. So we leave everything else as it is. As you can see, all the GST component is right here and it gives me, uh, it does all that calculation. Now, again, if you had, GST on any of these things, you would select yes over there and it will do the calculation here for you. Um, but if you uh, but usually on residential um, uh, rental income that you make, there is no GST, so we've left that, but we've given you an option yeah, in case you wanna change that. The same thing over here, if you've got loan setup costs, sometimes there are certain uh, costs when you set up the loan which has GST, um, usually a brokerage fee or so on. So you can select that over here. Otherwise, you can leave that as no. Um, or if you if you went yes, it will do the calculation here for you. So let's just leave that as no. Um, again, if you had that GST, then it will give you your GST on the sales and your GST as input tax credits and whatever the last remaining amount is. And you'll see that your profit has gone down even further. So I'll show you an example right here. So if I quickly change that to NA um, and come back and see, I'm making 593,000. Whereas as soon as I turn my GST on and I come back here, you know, I'm left with 508,000 because this is looking at the net effect of the uh, of the GST so um, there are um, when you make a sale you're collecting that GST but you're also uh, incurring expenses so you're claiming the GST back on them so that's what um, it gives you so that is the that is all there is to it um, in GST so you uh, it does its calculations on the side so if you were to change this percentage based on New Zealand I think it's about 14 percent uh, or 15 percent something like that so if I change that 15, so every calculation is then done based on that 14%. So I'll leave that at 10. And um, that's all you basically need to understand and get your head around that this is where, um, that's the impact of GST. So you'll see that initially we were, we were not making a loss at 
you know, when the cost went up by 3% and sales went down by 10%, now we are making a loss at that point as well. So we start making a loss just at one step right here. So, so those are the things that you need to understand in order to do uh, your feasibility using the smart feasibility calculator. Wish you all the very best.